Okay, welcome to Monster Review. Today we're going to look at the pet grooming table. Now, it's already assembled. We did the assembly process. Uh, you'll be able to see that later in the video. We also did uh, where we groomed our dog and we showed how pretty much the interaction worked and everything and how the anti-slip mat or top right here works. And then also, um, then we did the review at the end. And so, one thing I like about the table is the anti-slip mat. This is pretty thick. There's also this that holds the, the leash if you want to put the little cable connector here. And then also, you can also pump it higher. And you do it just by barely pressing. If you press all the way down, it will, it will lower it. So you just want to keep pressing small pumps. Also, the, the little legs to come with it that you attach uh, work very well. It stabilizes it. We had uh, civilization issues until we put the legs. We noticed that it was able to stable itself easier. And the metal, you can tell it's pretty thick. It's well made. Um, pretty much we, we didn't have any trouble with it. This is a great pet grooming table. And so we'll just look at how to assemble it and then see the process of us uh, giving our dog a haircut in the review. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is uh, we gotta put the, the little legs right here and then we'll be able to adjust it so it's stable. You see it's got rubber. Make sure you get the plastic off. All right. And so then we just need to turn it back. It's a little heavy. So, and so we're trying to keep it away from the wall since it has oh, yeah. to. All right, now it's, yeah, now it's just sturdy. So, now, it comes with uh, four screws. Right here is all the, everything it comes with. So you have your four screws, you have your little, and your tool. And so, here we go get dirty. And so you just line it up at the bottom. We need to do the washer first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was more, uh, this is my, this is my nice shirt. Just making sure I didn't get dirty. That's all of it. Okay. Now we have this. Connect this to the table. centered. Yeah, it's centered. Definitely want this type. Is he dog's gonna be pulling as hard as he can, probably. Yeah, he's not big on the grooming. <laughs> okay. <sighs> not a fan, he says, not a fan. <laughs> then got this. Put it right there. I am not a professional grammar by any means. <laughs> but it gets the job done. Come here. Buh, buh, buh. See it? Good, good boy. Give you a good brush. You love this brush. Oh, yeah. This is a soft brush, huh? Yeah, this is a good brush. Loves it. Yeah, I would, I would definitely 
suggest getting one of these pet grooming tables if you can, if you have room in your home. Um, I was looking at these for a while and I remember thinking they look, seem kind of pricey, but honestly, my back is not hurting at all. Normally I have to, because he's not cooperative. <laughs> he does not like to be groomed. So it's a battle in the first place and then having to bend over to groom him in the floor. So it made a huge difference and he seemed to like it. He was, he was a little bit more cooperative than normal and he seemed to, I think he liked being higher up near me when I was doing it and I'm, and it allowed me to get under his belly and things easier and his feet, whereas normally I'm having to bend over on the floor. So um, I'm not a professional groomer, so <laughs> he doesn't look as good as like if you take him to one of the, the grooming shops, but he's still beautiful. <laughs> And he doesn't cooperate there either, so <laughs> I'm sure they prefer me to do him at home because he, he, he likes to snip at you a lot if, um, for certain areas. So um, definitely this is an, an awesome table and I'm so glad that we have it. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe.